All right, volunteers, volunteers. Volunteers, heads up. Volunteers. Let's give uh let's give his compassion and the Lord a big a big offering. Some of you might have heard of the post earlier, but while we had I don't know how many volunteers we had today, but we probably had two to two hundred and fifty hours of volunteer hours today. They had six hundred during the week. Think of the activity. Think of this group right here. They had 600 hours during the week preparing for today. So if we have 250 in this time, every day they have 20 people that are going in five hours a day or more. I, they had people there on Friday morning at, at 6 o'clock. They were there at 7 o'clock this morning checking on the trucks. The small giant in this ministry, this food distribution ministry, is who? It's His Compassion Food Bank. We're looking, for, we're looking for seeds as you spread your word amongst your friends and neighbors of the good work that they're doing. We're looking for those seeds to turn into folks that have a heart to help pay for fuel and other expenses. They have a warehouse. They run that refrigerated truck all night running the air conditioner to keep the food at 44 degrees. These three trucks right here, it costs $5,000 a month for insurance so that they can run the roads and get this food. And then it costs $380 a tank to fill it up. The Lord's work is a great thing, but it takes check writers, big and little. I, ha I had people here this evening bring checks. I had this week at, on Friday, I had a lady that is unemployed due to the virus brought me a $20 check. That's a humbling thing when you listen to a lady who's out of work because of the virus, but she comes in, she's seen the post, and she brings her $20 check. And there's, there's those that here that can add zeros to the end of that and let the Holy Spirit lead you in, the, in that manner. It's a volunteer army. And, and, I, and I'll get you some more numbers, but it's astonishing how much food. We, we had 70, we had 32 tons and probably 74,000 pounds of food come today, $70,000. And they were all over this state. Homestead, a couple trips to Orlando, Lakeland, a couple trips to uh, Gainesville, all over Marion County, hitting Winn-Dixie's, Walmart's, uh, Publix's, getting getting food. So these so these guys recognize that these guys could put the food into people's hands. We just need to get the word out to let to, to so that the seed of funding arrives in their business. So among the many things that we're going to pray for. As Pastor Darren comes to pray, it'll be that the Lord bless. They're not asking for money. I'm the only one asking. I'm just telling you that may the Lord blow wind into their sails in these days. And as we come together, there's a lot of needs here. There's people here that you're loving on people, but I know there's hurt and situations going on here. And it's, and in, it's in these days that you too need to have faith over fear. You need to seek the Lord in a new and a greater way. In just a few minutes, the first thing we do after we pray, the first thing we're going to do is all the volunteers, because I know you're wondering, what are we going to do with those who, all the volunteers are going to take everything that you can take for your household and take it. The second thing you're going to do when you get to your car is you're not going to leave. You're going to come back and help us spend 10 or 15 minutes tidying up. Rondo, good word, sir. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys again. You know, um, we have 250 employees and... Uh, I have about 200 of them who haven't worked in, in this long, so um, I know I, I saw probably about 20 of them come through tonight. So just kind of the representative from the, the restaurant side, um, I know exactly what it feels like to get your life turned upside down, and I just can't thank you guys enough for, for being here to help me uh, minister to the restaurant people. So um, these are my people. I love them dearly, and you guys love them too, and that means a lot to me. So thank you all so very much. I appreciate you guys. So remember, as, we, as, as De Pastor Darren comes in to pray, Immediately, before we start packing the trucks, grab your potatoes, grab your grab stuff and go because it has to go away. Next week, they've got new routes for new and fresh food. So this food needs to go home in, the, in these houses. So take what you'd like. If you need toothpaste, take it. If you need potatoes, take it. 
And do remember after you do that to come back and help us tidy up a little bit. And as the Lord wills, we'll be back next week. The two-line process worked a lot faster. We're going to let our la ladies at uh, His Compassion uh, gain structure in our, in our volunteers and stuff for next week, so it'll work even better. But uh, uh, to God be the glory. Pastor Darren? Amen. We'll try this. Can you, can you hear me better with this? All right. And listen, I'm the pastor of this church, but I want you to know this is not a ministry of First Baptist Church, right? There are multiple churches that are represented here. There are multiple ministries. There are multiple businesses. And that's the way it should be. And this is, this is, this is about the Lord's ministry into this community. Uh, it's about our ability as a group to love people in Jesus' name. And the church is bigger than one location and one campus and, and one group of people. Amen? Yes. So thank you uh, for coming and serving. Let's make sure that if anyone receives the glory for what has happened here, it's the one who deserves it, and that's Jesus himself. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, let's give him a, a round of praise. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Now let's, let's express our gratitude to him in prayer. Let's pray together. Dear Lord God, we are so grateful to be able to join together across multiple lines of, of churches and ministries and businesses and to be one united Marion County in this moment and to know that what unites us most is our faith in you, Jesus. We thank you for salvation that only you provided. We thank you for the forgiveness that has come upon the cross. And we thank you for the love that you have given to us that enables us to love this community. And so, Lord, we know that our community is hurting. This whole country, this whole world is hurting. Um, but, Lord, we're praying that through it all, that revival will sweep through this community. That lives will be changed for, for eternity. And that people will begin to, to look away from their own problems and look up to you. Because you and you alone are worthy. And you alone have the answers. Lord, life is about you. We, are, we have been created, we've been born to worship you and to live our lives for you. A lot of people aren't doing that. But Lord, I pray that this, this virus and the impact that it's had upon this community and this nation will cause people to turn their hearts, their lives, their eyes to you. Lord, we're grateful to be a small part of your work, your kingdom work in this world. And Lord, we pray for each of the families that have come through and the, the many people, the lives, the businesses that they represent. And Lord, we pray that in, in the end, people will be able to say thank you, not to us, but to thank you for meeting their needs. Lord, we are grateful for all that you are doing. We pray your blessing upon all that are here. But mostly, Lord, we pray for the kingdom to be expanded in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.